Charisma Quotient. I'm your host, Kim Seltzer, a dating and makeover expert, where I will help you build confidence, make connections, and find love from the outside in. So I have a burning question for you. Do you have a type? You know, and if you do have a type, I want you to ask yourself, is this type working for you? You know, oftentimes the answer to this question might be that, okay, so your type is tall or looks like George Clooney or Scarlett Johansson, or maybe that person's funny and witty. I mean, regardless of what it might be, the concept of a type can often dictate our dating habits for better or for worse. And like, if you figure out how your type is, what are you doing? Like, are you really being intentional in the way that you're dating to go against the type? Or do you like the type that you have? Are you using it to your advantage? Type is typically referred to as a pattern that's been repeated in your romantic relationships or something that you are drawn to, that you're attracted to. And while this pattern might include things like appearance, Um, the more important aspects of a person's type aren't anything found on the surface. They're your values. And there are so many different things that make up a person's type. It could be based on what was modeled for you, you know, early on, and you've seen modeled for you in your childhood and formative years. And as a therapist, I see this happen over and over again, where we kind of pick the same people, like they might have a different costume on, and then you unzip the costume and It's the same person. It's like, how did they get there? But it's not your fault because these are familiar, you know, kind of interactions that really have started early on. And it could be what you think you are deserving of or based on your past dating experiences. If you find yourself referencing more superficial things like height or hair color, it's important to try to get to the root of what these things mean for you. You know, maybe you loved your tall ex because you felt protected, but didn't like that they interrupted you when having conversations. And now you know that you value feeling safe and feeling heard. Not only will this reveal any dating patterns you have, quite frankly, but it will also demonstrate why you are drawn to these qualities. Um, I, I, I'll never forget this woman. I mean, she wanted so badly to counteract her patterns and her dad was a narcissist. And of course, she kept picking narcissists. And every time she would date someone, she would think that it was not that guy. She's like, this time it'll be different. This time it'll be different. But lo and behold, it was the same guy. So I really had to teach her how to date smarter, not harder, and break those patterns. And with that, it actually had to do with her actions and the way that she was, first of all, going at dating, but also really doing some like data collection on what it is that she was attracted to. I often do this thing called chemistry analysis, where people are really looking at different parts of chemistry and what comprises of it. And when she did this analysis, she realized that the people that she was attracted to in the past had very low emotional IQ, but really high scores when it came to physical. So I had her go out with a bunch of guys that she wasn't initially physically attracted to. And she almost like, she almost like didn't do it, you know, and stopped coaching with me. I said, look, your type isn't working for you. So the only way we're going to get rid of this pattern is to try on something different. It's, it's just like shopping. You know, if you keep trying on the same thing and it's not working for you, sometimes it feels a little weird trying on that red dress or that pink top, but Often that's what serves you, but it may be a little uncomfortable. So anyway, that's what she did. She ends up going out with a lot of guys that had high like EQ and she fell in love with this guy who she wasn't initially attracted to physically in the beginning, but because they had this really strong connection, it built over time and it's a really healthy relationship today. So with me today is a friend and cohort whom I've known, gosh, for many years. I can't even think back. Um, And I've been on her many fabulous summits. She's amazing. Um, And she focuses on how women can find the right man. She's the founder and CEO of Love by Design. She began coaching professional single women in 2010. She's the master certified coach and a leading 
Enio style, I hope I'm saying that right, expert in the U.S. who provides an example of what's possible in love. What makes her approach different is that it's based on a proven personality typing system. I can't wait to talk about this. And she hosts a highly rated podcast on iTunes, Love by Design, and has been featured all over the place, CBS, media, and Medium, and other media, such as the Charisma Quotient. <laughs> Welcome, Paulina Salida. Thank you so much. I am so happy to be here and talk about personality typing, my favorite topic. <laughs> right? Like, and it's such a hot, we were talking off air about this. It's such a hot topic now. You know, I was just... um watching the Kelly and Ryan show this morning and they were talking about types and that there is a trend right now that people are trying to go against their type because they're realizing and they're opening up and broadening, you know, kind of their, their type and just giving more people chances. And I love that. I think this is a great trend. So I'm just, I'm happy to have you because I want to hear like your system rocks, but before we get into that, like just I don't, and honestly, for all the years that I've known you, I really don't know like your full backstory. Like, how did you get into all this? Yeah, so it's actually I'm going to link uh, that story to what I do now, and uh, this really the secret to it's so empowering. So my biggest value is empowering clients, and all of my clients use um, this personality typing system that I teach them, so they are able to recognize the most compatible partner for them, and. When I was single and dating after my divorce, I actually was told by the, the whole industry that there is a certain type uh, of man. This is the kind of man you go for. And uh, in annual style, the system that I teach, so there are only four types. It's totally psychology backed. It's based on Carl Jung psychological types. And it's very simple, easy to remember. It's uh, four cardinal points, north, e east, south, and west. And we all know that we're logical people, creative, emotional, and sensory. Oh, so I love that. I, I'm a west type. And so uh, I was, as a very uh, powerful, strong, ambitious woman, I was uh, looking for somebody who was even more of that, the same type. And the, the constant issue that I had is that they were not attracted to me or I had to play a role like I had to be less of who I was and everything has changed when I just had enough of spinning in circles and I decided that I'm just going to show up authentically myself and I'm just going to be open to dating somebody different and when I went on a date with but now it explains it's not because I'm an expert or I've done this work for so long or I got lucky. So my husband is an East type, which is complementary, ideal. It's called a dual partner. So nor it's very simple. North and South, ideal for each other. West and East. Every every other combination, there are going to be challenges. Like a West and a West, there will be confrontation. Who is going to be number one? Who's going to make decisions? Who's going to be the leader? So all of those issues were gone because... We're just naturally compatible with each other. So he brings that. He's very light and playful, adventurous, and he's flexible and easygoing. So it's very easy. Like if I had a challenge making plans where to go out for dinner with somebody who also wanted to make a decisions and uh, we had all that challenge and power struggle and confrontation, all of it is gone. It's just so easy to be together. And I was wondering like what makes this relationship, like why some relationships just easily work. And when I discovered Enyo style, which is uh, the system that was developed uh, s several decades ago, and uh, it's really the most, uh, the most effective, the most, the easiest, the simplest system to learn when it comes to personality typing, because you don't need to do any tests. You just can type somebody by just talking with them or looking at their profile. And that changed everything because... Uh, when you know that not everybody is compatible with you and it starts with you and you only do what works for you, it's easy to be yourself. It's like there's no effort. You don't have to do anything. And then the kind of people when you only focus on your compatible partner, besides just you, you get to be yourself, it's easy to be together. They are drawn to the exact qualities that you have. Like my husband loves that I'm so ambitious and driven and uh, strong. 
And that was an issue with those Westmen who were just like me. They were like, no, you're supposed to be in your feminine. And uh, I decide. Wow. And all of that issues are gone. And it's just so easy to be together. I want every person to, to experience that. All of my clients say it's so easy when you choose your dual partner. Oh my gosh. I love that. Well, I, so here's a question because, you know, before you met your husband, were you drawn towards people like you or, you know what I mean? Like, did you break your own pattern or, or how did that work? So he, here's what happened. It's a great question because I, uh, I thought that who I should look for is, and it made sense. Like, okay, there's just, it's, it's all of this outdated systems like okay a man he has to be stronger and he has to provide protect and lead but naturally who i am as my qualities and strengths like i am this way myself and so uh, having a partner who brings those different complementary qualities it's just it's completely different so i it's a great question i think when we, uh, especially I see for women who like our life circumstances, when let's say we've been, again, our parents told us like, you got to get this career. It's secure. It's like their values, it's maybe even based on their type, if they value security and system and stability, like North parents, and you're very um, like free spirit, creative person, but they're going to say, no, no, no. Like it's not, uh, they go into this career. So it could be that, we actually chose a career that's not aligned with who we are, or we were with somebody who wasn't our dual partner, our compatible type. And what happens is that we try to be kind of somebody we're not, a little bit of everything. And what happens is that we get into what I call the middle type. It's with women that um, they disconnect from ourselves. It's like, mm. I, I can be this, I can uh, make the Excel spreadsheets, I can also cook and I can come up with ideas and I can take care of everything. It's like nobody's like that, actually. Like there's, and that is the problem. When you get into that, you become like this very average version. And like men are not attracted to that. You don't even know who you are. So you don't even know who is your dual partner, like out of this four. And uh, it, it becomes a real problem. Like if you if he cannot find you, if you don't even know who you are, you don't, you don't know who you're looking for, how will you ever find each other? I love that because I think what you're talking about is acceptance, you know, being who you are, being authentically who you are mm -hmm. and not, I call it shape-shifting, what you're talking mm, about, shape-shifting yes. into oh, something yeah. that you're not. And I see a lot of women doing that. Like they'll try to transform into something that they think that guy wants mm. of them. And that's what ends up attracting lopsided, you know, relationships because it's, it's not really who you are, but I think a lot of women don't know who they are. So like mm. in your typing system, you know, when you're doing this, does it kind of help define the type of woman they are? Oh, absolutely. This yeah. is that like, this is the first step. So I would say it always starts with you and actually everything uh, is then driven by that. And so what I do is um, inside of my program, my clients learn the system and I believe it, you got you gotta you gotta understand how it works it's like kind of like yeah i can tell you you know this is the car and this is how it drives but it's very different when you sit down and like you know what's under the hood like you know how it works because then like you start it's sort of like you put on these lenses it doesn't take any extra effort or time but but you start seeing the world like you watch the celebrities you watch movies you talk with people, you start seeing like what's underneath the iceberg. And so the most important uh, part of it is that they're learning like here are all the types, here are the criteria, they discovering who they are. So I never rob my clients of like, I can type anybody in just a matter of few minutes, but they discover, they come to me with a hypothesis. This is what my type is. This is why. And then it informs everything else because you automatically know who your most complimentary partner, then you can see right away exactly why your access didn't work out because 90% of the time they were incompatible and mm. they try to be somebody like we women, because we are so deep wired to be in a relationship to, to connect. We bend, like we disconnect from who we are in order to keep us relationship. And it, it, you can do that, but the cost is so huge because first of all, 
you you lose who you are in the process. Second, if that man is not compatible with you uh, and he's subconsciously looking for that type of woman, right? Like West type, we are the type that like uh, Why Men Love Beaches book was written. Oh, about. yeah. So there is certain type. But uh, an East type of woman uh, will never be that. She will never be that. Like we, it's just we're going to be an average version of somebody we're not. And it's just, it's a lot of work. It's just, you have to, that, that saying, like you have to work on your relationships. Like I don't believe in that at all. Uh, in dual compatible relationships, you don't have to because your relationships just work. It's just easy. You just can be yourself. And I don't have to tell my husband, listen, when we make decisions, can you just please be flexible and just allow me to just, like, I want this. Like, I don't have to have this conversation. He's just like, yeah, like he has an idea. I was like, okay, it sounds great. We're going to make it happen. Like, this is what we're doing. And he's like, okay, great. And it works. <laughs> oh my God. Like, bada bing, bada boom. Like you make it sound right. so simple. It I, is simple. Well, it's that simple. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and this is what I wanted to, cause I can, I can almost hear some listeners listening mm. to this and thinking, oh, you mean all I got to do is just find out what my type is and then boom, like poof, I'll attract the one, you know, you got to know what, when you will know who you almost, uh, who is right, uh, compatible partner for you, you will understand exactly why. So I'll just give a simple, super simple example. Okay. You North North type of woman. So everything we do is driven by that mission. Like it's going to show up like a North woman. She wants security, stability. She wants to keep that system. It's very systematic thinking. Think about Miranda in Sex in the City. She's going to have her career uh, where she's using like very smart, using her intellect, logical systems, and probably will work, maybe corporate or some some sort of system. And uh, she's going to have a schedule and she will want to make plans a week ahead because that's how she is. It's just mm. like she's got her calendar. Now, uh, her most uh, compatible type of man is a South man. He's not as structured and punctual and like so rigid, but his mission to feel, to connect, to be in a relationship, he will be punctual. He will follow through because his mission is to connect and build relationships. He will do it for the ethics of relationships, not for the logic. Well, I said, I'm going to do it, but they align. It's already, he's going to make plans and he's going to honor that. Now, and this type of man is a type of man who's very creative, driven by interest, and kind of like his biggest value is freedom. He he thinks in a very different way. He's got the world of ideas. Uh, he creatively, he might be taking on a new project next week. He doesn't know what time he's going to wake up tomorrow and when he will have breakfast and what it's going to be. He might even forget about it. Every day is a different. So. What happens when it's next week and this East type of man, something changed. He might got distracted. He saw somebody else or he changed his plans. He's now traveling and he's like telling her on the day of they supposed to meet. Oh, by the way, uh, let's reschedule. I, I, something came up and that for her, she was like, oh, it's already, they never even met. Yeah. It is already an issue. Yeah. If, yeah. Do you see how it's like mm -hmm. already not compatible? So how easy would it be if that South type of man, he's like, yeah, like, and he will reach out, he will confirm, he will communicate, he will remind every day. And she just receives like, yeah, it's happening. Like, relax. I know what's happening. Now, my husband is an East type. And actually, uh, it took him, he called me for six months. We never met. Once a month, he would call, we chat. I was in the midst of something. For whatever reason, we could never meet. But then he finally called me again. I was like, listen, let's just, like I said, let's just meet like in like after tomorrow. It was like this. And we met. And it was last minute and it was spontaneous. And look, 14 years later. But <laughs> it never would, like, for some women, they'll be like, what? Like, no, it doesn't work for me. And that is the difference that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Now, it, does it work in reverse? Like when people take this test, can a man take oh, it? Oh, it's not a they... test. So it's really, I, it goes beyond. You, I, oh. I, I don't believe tests can okay. accurately um, represent who you are. I think learning, like 
learn it's like speaking the language like here's the alphabet here's how you put it together so you can read it fluently versus like somebody just shows you visible words to me it's like the difference I it's see. in depth yeah mm -hmm. okay so it, this can work for men and women oh absolutely yeah 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 what are some mistakes that you see people make like when in just like maybe when they're trying to attract something different, you know, like they learn about their type and then mm -hmm. maybe they're trying to like break their own patterns. Are, are there like certain mistakes you see? Yeah. What's interesting is that when my clients connect to what the type, like who they truly are and they start, for example, like a South, uh, I already, Oh, an example, South woman. So South, uh, mission is to feel relationships are really important she wants to communicate and uh, and she also might have a tendency for like getting anxious which by the way with her compatible partner who's north very reliable predictable there's no more anxiety anymore he's just like okay it's as good as done we planned it but if she goes for an east type of man who is a lot of excitement, like he's going to put you on that ro uh, roller coaster of emotions. Mm -hmm. He's going to be romantic and interesting and fun. But when he's going to ghost you, the next week, you never know what's going to happen. For a South type of women, when they see like, oh my gosh, I was going after the East type of man. I see how it never worked out. I see why it brought, brought the worst qualities in me. They would get anxious. They would cry. They would create all the drama. And they're like, yeah, it totally makes sense. So I think for them is really kind of challenging and like, okay, I'll just continue like, but this is more exciting. This is interesting. I actually had some clients who would be like, but this is more interesting. And again, I'm going to say, look, you can choose any type you want. It's your life. You're an expert in your life. Just the question you want to ask yourself, what is going to cost you? Because there are certain challenges that get completely eliminated when you choose your most compatible partner, because it's just like naturally works, you just bring like truly the best in each other. Like that North man will give you the guarantees and the certainty. He's going to be committed, reliable, and you can just completely relax. There is no more anxiety, no more drama. And for a South woman, I think the biggest mistake would be to say, but they're not so interesting. They're not so much fun. And then you get to choose. I think also one more mistake is, I'm going to say that it's so big, for all those women who write that ideal man list, and I've done it myself, what they do, we all do, whoever's done it, you write the best qualities of each of the four. It will mm. look like reliable, committed, punctual, spontaneous, romantic, full of surprises, adventurous, emotionally available, communicative, but also driven, successful, masculine, ambitious. So I call it four in one man doesn't exist we just right. take the best out of each one and that is why every time you meet somebody we check uh, most of the boxes but we don't check all of them you just keep searching and searching and searching how long are you going to look for four in one man because nobody's going to be like everything i'm so glad you said that because that was some of the things that i was thinking about and i think it's um, almost an epidemic now where, you know, people are becoming very um, transactional and mm -hmm. they're vetting every person so hard. Like they'll see one thing on a profile or, or they'll feel into one quality of a man on the date and they're out of there. You know, it's like kind of this, everyone's mm -hmm. expecting everything. And what mm -hmm. I love about your system is that I think it's, you know, just really pinpointing the core areas, you know, like, negotiables or non-negotiables. We've heard other terminology around it, mm -hmm. but, but this makes it so simplified and to really give things a chance. And the other thing that I really like is that it it's, it's almost like a foundation that people can really learn to change a pattern, you know, cause obviously it, it, it still takes work after that because, you know, no matter what, if you're, if you're going after an East when you're used to a North it's not even going to feel good at first. Like it's going to be weird, <laughs> you know, for yeah, some people because exactly. they're not, especially if they're so used to going for the North or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see this with my clients, but now that there's like a system in place and they know who they are, it empowers women to be like, it's okay, empowering. Yeah, I know what I choose. am and mm -hmm. I'm going to try this on for size. Cause I yeah. know that that's better for me. Yeah. And you also, Kim, you also brought that like 
key, like you really just zoomed into the core of this is acceptance is really uh, let's just get real. Like we humans, nobody's yeah. perfect. Nobody like you not like for those women who just like everything has to be like, no, uh, we're going to have strengths and every strength we have is going the other side of that. There is a lack. So for example, and that's why we can't have everything like a North type of man. He is going to be very predictable, very consistent. But then a woman might say, well, I want a man who like does what he says, but then he doesn't says that. And she's like, okay, he's kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, ah. Oh, they want this East guy who is like full of like, he's so romantic. He's so spontaneous. Like, exciting like what is exciting you know you don't know what's going to happen that's what makes it exciting and then he loses interest he's so interesting like well at the moment he's not interested he's gone yeah and you know i i'm going to take this one deeper layer just as a therapist because and this is why this is so important what you're talking about is that if you've had a pattern that started when you were young with your like parent per se, there's things that go on in the brain. It's called familiarity principle where we all confirmation bias, right? Yeah. Well that too, right? Like we all default back to what we know. So it's the brain's way of trying to work out something different and Mm -hmm. to, to break that habit, it's gonna, it's gonna take a minute and it may Mm -hmm. not feel like attraction even because exactly. you're just so used to like being the caretaker or you not setting are boundaries. So right. You are just like brilliant spot on Kim, because uh, what happens is that right now I just literally, like I had a group coaching call earlier, just like before us. And I was like, this man are not even on your radar. You're not even attracted to them right now. And again, now human brain, like it's like things and patterns, It thinks about like what I already know. And we think what we attracted to. Yes. Uh, Why? But it's something that's familiar. It's something that is comfortable. It's something that our brain reads as safe. Oh, that's why we keep having the same like men of the same type, but different faces, different looks, right? Remember when you said about that suit? Yes. It's exactly why it's happening. So if you want something different, uh, it's going to, yeah, there will be that resistance or your brain will say, well, I'm not attracted. But before you feel attracted, our feelings are created by our thoughts. There is a thought first that you think and it's familiar. Yeah. And this is where we also do our work on our mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's so important. So I think that's really for you listening, important to know that like, this isn't just one and done. Like, oh, here's my type. Like you, there are some things that you're going to have to do to break that pattern. But I love, now it's such a like release knowing that, hey, well, this is why all these relationships didn't work. Like this is the type that I'm compatible with. So Paulina, yeah. thank you so much for coming yeah, on. This is an awesome so conversation. Um, just, you know, tell everyone where they can find you. And if yeah, there's anything let's connect. Uh, yeah, I think about, so I'm also, uh, I have a podcast that's called Find the Right Man. So if you're listening to Kim, listen to mine as well. And if you want, if you have any questions, you want to ask me anything, DM me on Instagram, Paulina Solda. So I'm sure you add a link and let's connect on Instagram. Yeah. Ask me any questions. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. And I know Thank I'll you. see you again in many forms. Yes. We're going to do more fun <laughs> events. Thank yeah, you so and much I for need having to come, me. I need to come check out the scene. If those of you who are watching on YouTube, she has this fabulous background of where she, I can't believe you live there. Anyway, Polina, thank you. I love you. Oh, much love. Thank you so much. And thanks for joining me today. This has been the Charisma Quotient. You listening. I'm your host, of course, Kimmy Seltzer. And remember, you can build confidence, make connections, and find love from the outside in. And if you want to know more, make sure you go to my site, as always, KimmySeltzer.com. And if you're, you are attracting that same person, but you know, it's a different costume and you want to find out how to break that pattern, hop on a call with me to talk about ways to crack that code. Make sure you know from Paulina what type you are compatible with so that we can both help you. Just click the link you see below in the show notes to schedule that. And who knows, that 
one call could change the entire course of your life. Remember, working on you is working on your dating life. That's all for now. <laughs>